Hi, this is Barakaya, and this is City of Stories, audio fan fiction from City of Heroes and City of Villains. And now, Mint Condition. All right, thanks, Barra. So welcome to issue three of City of Stories. Well, we're going to try something a little different this week. Less of a story, more like a sketch. What you're about to hear are some of my favorite pieces of COH fiction. I hope I've done them justice. So let's get to it, shall we? These are The Phone Calls by Ascendant. Imagine yourself in Talos Island. You've been running missions for Crimson all day, and you're exhausted from the constant running back and forth to Little Miss, I'm too good to stand anywhere near the Talos entrance, otherwise known as Indigo. You cross the water from Founders Falls and scale the cliff up onto the big island, headed for the tram. As you walk up the ramp, you see a hero standing at the payphone. Do heroes need payphones? You ask yourself. Yes, my friend. In a world where the superpowered take the monorail from place to place, heroes use payphones. You're jolted from this incongruity, just in time to see him dial. Hello, is this the offices of Saul Rubenstein, agent to Paragon's Elite? Great. Can I speak to him? I'm a client. Ascendant. No, with an A. D A N T. And they Hello, Saul. It's Ascendant. No, the one with the A. I'm, I'm glad you asked. I've, I've been going over these products you sent me. Right, for the merchandising campaign. Well, no, no they aren't. That, that's why I'm calling, actually. I'm not really happy with them. Well, okay, for starters, there's the breakfast cereal. Right, Ascendant O's. Okay, it says here on the box, includes Xenonite, the secret source of Ascendant's power. Well, for one thing, Xenonite is not the secret source of my powers. No, Saul, it isn't. Trust me on this. Saul, Xenonite takes away my powers. Yeah, it does. In fact, if I'm exposed to it too long, it could kill me. I don't know, it's got something to do with radioactivity, I think. Anyway, I poured a bowl of Ascendinos yesterday just to see what they tasted like. I nearly died before I finished pouring the milk. Well, if the cat hadn't come along and eaten it all, I would have, Saul. My point is, we're not going to be selling Ascendinos. Because, Saul, I'm not putting on a lead suit every time I have to go to the cereal aisle at the grocery store. I don't care if you already have a lot of pre-orders for it. Really? How many? From who? Okay. Right. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Him too. Really? Yeah, well, see, the problem we have here is that all those guys you just mentioned are super villains, Saul. Yeah, even him. I just beat him up like an hour ago for trying to poison the city's water supply. I don't care that his check cleared, Saul. It's not the point. Well, of course, they're going to use it to try to kill me, Saul. Why else would a bunch of supervillains want a kid cereal laced with the one rare radioactive element that I'm vulnerable to? No, I don't think they just wanted a well-balanced breakfast. Okay, alright, as far as I'm concerned, this is a dead issue, Saul. Big no on Ascendant O's. Okay, moving on. The Ascendant action figure. No, I'm very disappointed, actually. Well, for starters, it comes with a laser sword and a talking dinosaur that I supposedly ride into battle. 
I don't have either one of those things, Saul. I don't care that the focus groups thought it would be cool. This is utterly ridiculous, Saul. Yes, it is. For one thing, where am I going to get a laser sword? Or a talking dinosaur, for that matter. Fine. Whatever. Anyway, I'm also a little concerned about the fact that it features burning halo action. Right, but aside from the fact that I don't actually have a burning halo... No, Saul, I don't. I'd know it if I did. Trust me. Aside from the fact that I don't have anything like a burning halo power, do you really think it's a good idea to sell kids an action figure that can spontaneously burst into flame? You never thought about it. Well, okay, that's on hold until I can see a redesign. Moving on. The Ascendant Cave action playset. Yeah, I actually like this. Well, I mean, it doesn't look anything like my apartment, but it's pretty cool, I guess. What do you mean they changed the name so that it could fit on the box? Well, sure, I guess the Ascendant Cave action playset is a little long. Couldn't they just use a smaller font? Fine. Alright. What are they calling it now? The Action Cave? Ascendance Lair? What? The A-Hole? Why on earth would they call it the A-Hole, Saul? Yes, I understand the A is short for Ascendant, you moron. But why not call it the A-Cave or the A-Lair? Uh-huh. I see. Well, we are not calling my secret headquarters the A-hole, Saul, and that's final. Because I don't want people to hear the word Ascendant and immediately think A-hole? Okay, moving on. The Ascendant Action Hour TV show. Right. Okay, I actually like the opening animation that you put together. No, I do. It, it looks pretty cool, and the theme song is catchy. I still have a problem with parts of it, though. Well, the part where I'm sheathed in a burning halo of flame, riding around the city on a talking dinosaur, hitting bad guys with my laser sword, and eating raw chunks of xenonite. Because I don't actually do any of those things, Saul. Look, it's, it's really the rest of the show that I have the major problems with anyway. Well, for one thing, outside of the opening theme part, the Ascendant Action Hour is apparently just old episodes of Nightline. Except every time that somebody says Ted Koppel, you dub it over with Ascendant. I don't care if each episode only costs twenty-two fifty plus shipping to make, Saul. In fact, I, I don't think you can even legally broadcast it. What offshore pirate transmitter? Saul, that's a federal offense. Yes, yes it is. Yes, someone will care. They're called the FCC. Look, Saul, I've got to fire you. I don't see where you've left me much choice, Saul. You're selling cereal that can kill me to my arch enemies. You've made my action figure not only ludicrous, but potentially lethal to kids. And you're committing felonies by broadcasting illegal transmissions of Nightline from offshore transmitters. Oh, and I almost forgot. You're selling an action playset, which proudly proclaims on the box, Ascendant stores all of his most precious items inside his incredible a-hole. And worst of all, my name is stamped all over this, Saul. I'm the one who's going to be sued, or killed, or arrested. No, probably not in that order. Saul, 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 stop crying. Oh, look, I, I know you tried your best. Okay, fine. Look, okay, okay, but just... One more chance, Saul. Just don't do anything more until we can have a meeting, Saul. No, no, for the last time, no Broadway musical. Don't even mention that again. Okay, all right, bye. Saul Rubenstein is, of course, Ascendant's agent. He's also Ascendant's uncle, 
which is pretty much the only reason Ascendant hasn't fired him yet. Saul used to be a big-time agent back in the 70s. His last clients were Sid and Marty Croft. He means well. He's just an idiot. Hi, Mom. No, nothing's wrong. I, I just thought I'd... No, I'm, I'm fine, really. Yeah? Right, but I'm perfectly... Mom, my skin's like a 93 on the Rockwell scale. R right. Okay. Well, yeah, but w well, when that happens, I just show up at the hospital. No, no, that's, that's not right, Mom. I, I don't care what Jay Leno said. I... R right, but I am, but not to kryptonite. Okay, no. Y yes. Yes, I, I work with her, Mom. What kind of question is that? Yes, I've seen what she wears, but... Well, she says it's kept on by willpower. No, she's not. No, we aren't. No, no, we just work together, Mom. Yeah, I know Ms. Liberty is single, but... No, I, I barely know her. I, No, I'm not asking her to din... No, that's not... I, I don't think Ms. Liberty gets a lot of time off, Mom. Look, I... I know you want grandkids, but... No, no, I'm not calling Inga again, Mom. Yes, I know you liked her. No, she wasn't a columnist for Spy Magazine, Mother. She was a spy for the fifth column. Because they haven't made Spy Magazine in like ten years. Fine. Okay, other than that, you're right. She was great. No, I'm I'm pretty sure she's in prison now, Mom. Um, I, I kind of need to go on the mission. Well, it is pretty important, but... No, I didn't say it was more important than talking to you. No, I didn't. Mom. Mother, don't be like that. Well, it's an important mission. Well, that's because all of them are important. Okay, here we go again. Mom. Yes, I know he sees his parents all the time. Well, for one thing, he can teleport, Mother. I yeah, I can, but not all that fast. It, it is the slowest travel power. Okay, okay, I'll try. Yes, I'll be there for brunch on Sunday. No, I won't forget. No, Mom, I won't. Look, I, I already explained about that time. Mom, that's, that's when the Richty invaded again. Yes... It was on the news, Mom. That's because Oprah isn't news. Look, I really have to go. No, no, I do. Well, because with great power comes great responsibility. Yes, Mom, it does. W what? Yes, I'm, I'm sure that being a father is a lot of responsibility, too. Well, because I'm not even seeing anyone right now, let alone... That's not why I'm... Mom, I'm not having this conversation again. Look, I'm happy doing what I'm doing. I don't care if Mr. Jenkins can get me a job with his accounting agent. Yes, I am aware that great accountants also have great responsibilities, but... No, I don't. That's that's not what... Okay, well, whatever. I, I've got to... Right. Uh, Mom, I've got to... No, no, i got to go, Mom. Right, the mission. No, I'll call you later, okay? Right, and I'll see you on Sunday. Okay, right. Fine. Well, I've got to... Okay, I'll try. Look, I, I gotta... Okay, bye, Mom. No, no, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm hanging up now. Okay, bye, Mom. I love you too, Mom. Okay, hanging up now. Bye. Ugh. <sighs> 